My metal detecting journey started in my early teens with this Zebco Mustang Treasure Finder. It was pretty basic. I either got it for Christmas or my birthday, and it was a lot of fun. Metal detectors have come a long way since this one. I'm on a quest. My father lost his wedding ring somewhere in his yard, and I'm going to try to find it. Some challenges we've got going on here. It's wet, it's the fall, and I was trying to find the best metal detector, not only for that job, but getting back into metal detecting after trying it out so long ago. Things have changed a lot. I must have watched dozens of videos. After a lot of research, I've decided to get these three things to start out. First, some sort of digging shovel. Some sort of pinpointing device. This is a little mini metal detector you put on your hip. And then this. I decided on the Xterra Pro after a lot of research. A product from Mind Lab. It's a little different than their Vanquish series. I looked at all sorts of other metal detectors and this one seemed to be the one that would be the best for me. Now what's that mean? You can spend anywhere between $100 and $150 and get a basic metal detector. It'd be great for a beginner. This is the next level and it costs about $259. This is an unsponsored review. I'm not getting paid anything by Mind Lab or anyone else to evaluate this product. So it's honest. We're going to open this up, talk about it, and then we're going to take it out in the field. <laughs> if we don't freeze to death, find that ring and maybe some other things in different places. So let's go to a top-down shot and show you what we get in these tools. Again, unsponsored products here, but I did a lot of research on what kind of digging tool to get. You want something that can dig down a little bit. I know there's leather sheaths, and I might upgrade to that depending on how serious I get about metal detecting. Look at this thing. Nice handle. It's got measurements here. The thickness of it is easily an eighth of an inch or four millimeters on the blade. There's a little divot. That's going to be able to take a lot of digging. It's got a little serrated edge. It probably could cut through roots easy. This I think I paid about $16 for. Looked at a bunch of them. This seemed to be the best. I'll be able to use that probably for the rest of my life. <laughs> and I plan to be living a long time by the way. It's got a nice little strap. I'd be really surprised if the sheath lasts as long as the tool does. Pinpointer. These are pretty basic. A nice little sleeve to put them in. Again, you can just put this on a belt. Interesting. There's Velcro on both sides for some strange reason. These things get really dirty. You can imagine this is going to get really dirty. LED light sensor level. Comes with a cord with a keychain. So I imagine you put the keychain on there. This gives you an extension and you can still detecting something. It's got a vibration mode. They send it to you with a battery. Get up here and get the thing on. Maybe. So you could store it with the battery not in place. I'm not a big fan of keeping batteries in because they can corrode your electronics. How do you repair corroded electronics? That's another video I'll post up here. I'm going to make that one soon. I'll post down below where you can get something like this. Alright, now what we've all been waiting for. The Xterra. I chose the Xterra for some of these things. Had a park field in beach mode. It's waterproof to 16 feet. Not that I'm going to go down to 16 feet, but it, it's probably nice to have that feature because I plan to go and surf both fresh water and salt water. I'm a little skeptical about the salt water ability of this to endure, although they're advertising it, and Mine Lab's been around for a while, so they probably know what they're doing, but salt water is one of those things where <laughs> that's really wicked to electronics and pretty much anything in general. Having spent many, many years around technology in salt water, it's light, it's got audio controls, choice of coils, it comes with a V12X. I'm not sophisticated enough to know whether or not these are better. It's got lightning and vibration, loud clear audio sound, built-in speaker. It'd be nice to have a wireless headset so I could Bluetooth in and not draw a lot of attention to all the beep bops. And it's built to last. Three-year warranty. We'll see how that goes. 
that's pretty darn lightweight. They're not kidding. Here's the sensor piece. All well packed. Here is the armrest. A little Allen wrench with a screw. A cord cable. This is another feature that I really liked. It collapses. You know, that's kind of nice. And I'm presuming that this fits in here without looking at the instructions. Okay, and then this cardboard box. And there's the coil. The V12Z. So let's get the cardboard out of the way and start putting this thing together. I'm big in design, having an engineering background. This is why it's waterproof. High quality build right there, the cable. Immersing this piece, I'd be a little concerned about that, but we'll see. It's lightweight, and so let's get it together following the instructions. That's a crazy looking charger if there ever was one. Standard USB there, that's got a nice heft to it. Almost half the weight is here and half the weight's here. So you can balance it that way. And this is fairly lightweight. Some real basic instructions on how to put it together. You could take the protective coating off, but I might just leave it on there to keep it from getting scratched. I think I've seen what's holding me up. There's a little rubber stopper here at the bottom of this. And I'm going to have to push pretty hard to get this little nub passed. And then I think we're good to go. But you want to make sure you put it in right. All I did is I just made sure it lined up with the MindLab logo. As I look at these tabs, put it on the floor on a carpeting and just gave it a little bit of a tap. Maybe a couple, two, three. And now it's in there forever. And it's not going to come out. I guess they wanted to ship it in a shorter box, and that's all the farther it goes, so that was their answer. And this goes on here like this, but before you do that, you got to slide on this. This has got an adjustment on there, which I kind of like, because depending on how tired you get, you can move this back and forth to counterbalance the end, and then the strap also helps with the counterbalancing. Put it in place. Get a couple taps until the hole lines up the threads to screw in. Keep the screw out for now. Put it with that in a bag so that I can take this off and it'll be easier to transport that way as opposed to when it's all assembled. But I'll put it together for you and maybe even do some trial runs. I kind of like the fact that you can take it apart. Plastic, metal, everything seems to be thought through from a getting it wet perspective. So you got these little rubber pads and they are a tight fit. I'm gonna put it at the top of the tier and yeah, push it down and do that on each side. Put the corner in first and then just push down in the circle. I find that's easier to do. All right, and then just mount it in. And that's a pretty tight friction fit. Find the hole and run this through. Sticker here to take a picture of and sticker here to take a picture of. There's a little notch here. Need to line notch there and then gently push it in and then screw that in place. And supposedly that's a watertight seal. Oh, there's also an arrow that helps you know which way is up when you're putting this together. This is the whole thing assembled, right around 30 inches. It's 12 inches high. If you take this off, that would flatten it out a good bit. As wide as this detector, which is nine inches, about two and a half pounds. The fact that you can adjust so many different things here for the user is a big plus from the human factor standpoint. There was a little bubble in the protective screen and I was able to push it off into the corner. So that's good. I'm just gonna keep that protective screen on. First impressions. That's the on off, volume, dimmer switch looks like, and then all the various categories, which is all described right here. Initial first impressions are, I really like the design of this. You can take it way far out. Now it's just a matter of taking it out in the field, the beach, outdoors, and giving it a test run. Just running up against a time constraint here, otherwise I would take it out and test it right now. When I do, I'll post the video up there and down below so that you can check that out. So much better by 40 years, maybe, than my original metal detector when I was a little kid. 
Thumbs up and comments, always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in technology of all kinds, testing out that technology, making and breaking things, designs of all kinds, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what honest review you might see.